Okay. A deficiency of which of the following enzymes is most likely responsible for this patient's condition? Okay. A six-year-old boy is brought to the clinic by his parents due to recurrent episodes of hypoglycemia and muscle weakness, which worsen after prolonged exercise. The parents report that consuming glucose-rich food seems to alleviate the symptoms. A physical examination reveals hepatomegaly, and laboratory shows elevated liver enzymes and hyperlipidemia. Um, okay. I believe this is not fructokinase or PFK. I believe the diagnosis, in my opinion, would be a von Gerke's disease. Okay. Because it could be von Gerke's or the other one that's milder. Um, but I think hepatomegaly and like elevated liver enzymes and hyperlipidemia are pretty dang bad. So the enzyme that is with that is glucose 6-phosphatase. Um, and then debranching enzyme would be Cori disease and then Anderson disease. It wouldn't be Anderson disease. So it'd be, it's just an A or B, but I would pretty confidently pick A and move on. Good. Yeah. Um, I don't remember anything you just said. Anything lysosomal storage disorders has, uh, has left the building in this brain of mine, <laughs> but, uh, definitely for sure. All the right words that I remember back in the day, right. Um, Von Gerks, right. You have Corey's, right. You have, um, Tari Anderson, things like that. So, you know, all, all of the glycogen storage disorders, definitely for sure. This is a little bit more memorization, but I'm glad that you've added the clinical to it. I think it makes it a little bit easier. I wish I did that when I was studying for step one is to, um, add the clinical because I just remember like, you know, you're trying to locate buzzwords. Um, and you know, if you've noticed hepatomegaly is almost with all of them. So I would be like, okay, uh, I don't remember. Um, yeah. but yeah, so definitely for sure, kind of getting those collection of, uh, symptoms to figure out, oh, you know, some is muscle, some is heart, some, you know, things like that so that you can kind of categorize them. And then the next step, quote unquote, right. The second order that they usually ask you is not just the disease itself, but um, what enzyme is messed up. And sometimes they even go crazier as you already know, is they'll ask you a third order questions like, Oh, what protein is backed up, you know, which is annoying as itself, but yeah, um, no, that's, that sure. that's going to be your, your three different type of questions. The one dealing with glycogen storage disorders or lysosomal storage disorders. So cool.